please feel free to join us in the conversation and correct me if I'm wrong. Who is the one built Al-Aqsa? Any Muslim can tell me? The one you call it the mosque of Al-Aqsa. I will give you options. Is it your prophet? Is it your caliphate? Or it was the Jews? Any Muslim? I'm waiting for Muslims to give me an answer. Any Muslim can help us? According to your religion, who is the one built the mosque you call it Al-Aqsa? Guess what? Even the Muhammadans, they agree that the one who built what they call it a mosque, which is not a mosque actually, The one who built it, it was David. Can you believe it? If there's any Muslim here when I say to me, you are lying. Anyone? Look at them. Nobody dare to say I'm lying. Nobody, because we can prove it in two seconds from their books. Any Muslim is willing to say to me the truth, who is the one who built your holy mosque? Anyone? Let us go to the books of the Mohammedans, which is considered the most high books. This is, remember, not the books of the Jews. We are not using the Jews to prove anything. You see, in the court of law, you don't, prov you don't provide an evidence written by your hand. You provide an evidence written by your, the one who opposing you in the case, right? So if we are suing somebody, you don't write a check says, okay, he signed it. It's you who signed it. He have to sign it if you want to accuse him of something. Really be careful. When Suleiman, Suleiman is the name of Solomon in Arabic. Bin Dawood, the son of David, finished building Baytul Maqdis. Hey Abdul, who is the one who finished building Baytul Maqdis? It is not Yasser Arafat. It's not your prophet. It's not the Caliphate Omar. It's not potato and tomato. It is Solomon, the son of David. So why all TV stations in the world, including those who they are in Europe? Why the stupid Joe Biden saying he is worried about the right of the Palestinians? When those Palestinians are not even Palestinians, those are Arab who came as an invasion and the land they are in, all of them, not only those houses, this is not their land. In the top of that, even like now, the problem is about people who they settle there and they are not owning the houses. This is the land they don't own. They give them temporarily housing because they were refugee and now that's it. They own the houses. They will never leave. And now the filthy Joe Biden and because Joe Biden, he is the puppet of Obama and Obama, he support Iran and Iran support Hezbollah and Hamas. We see what we see. Actually, if you ask yourself, what happened in the last four years? Why Hamas did not do any attack? I mean, they were like, eh, plain. How come now they became so aggressive? Because we have Joe Biden. 
and Joe Biden mean Obama and Obama mean give money to Iran give weapon to Iran lift the sanctions on Iran and Iran will flood Hezbollah and Hamas with money and weapon so now they notice that America is not there America actually now is in their side everybody knows that the Democratic Party is in bed with the Muslim Brotherhood which is Hamas the biggest supporters for the terrorist group, the Muslim Brotherhood, is the Democratic Party in USA, not only Qatar. Oh, we can prove it easy. Joe Biden, he sent a messenger to the Israeli, and he requests to meet with them, and he said, what's going on? The Israeli, they gave him, excuse my language, a big finger. This says, none of your business. This is our land. This is our land, you donkey coward so here you will notice that those Israeli they are not fighting only a 1.6 billion they are fighting America they are fighting Europe the whole world is against them because the whole world is corrupt and everybody is a liar Al Jazeera TV, they made a big program about the white people. They stole the land from the Indian people when all the Middle East is a theft. Iraq is the land of the Assyrian and the Chaldean. Syria is the land of the Syrian. Jordan is the same. The Palestinian there are the Aramaic, not those Arab who came as an invasion. What about Morocco? What about Egypt? What about Turkey? Turkey, all of it, there's no Turkey. This is the land of the Greek people. 30% of it belong to Armenia, other 20% belong to the Syrian, and the, other, the rest belong to, to, to Greece. The filthy Erdogan, he called, oh, they are going to take a few houses from the, from the Palestinian, this is not their houses, and he himself, the filthy, the coward, he just took our church. How come he can't take our church? And this is our land. Remember, this is our land. This is not their land. Not only they took the church, they took the whole city. They took the whole territory. It's okay for Muslims to take, but you cannot take it back because they are supremacist. And then you will see Muslims making like there's a guy his name is Ali Dawa uh, he's holding the phone a call from Allah message to Palestinians a call from Allah message to Palestinians you coward actually I just saw a video is anti-Jews and he's the, the guy is trying to show you that the Jews are they believe that they are a chosen people and here you see the Muslim making all the comments <laughs> racist <laughs> coward <laughs> you stupid idiot it's your god who says they are chosen people idiot chapter 2 verse number 47 O children of israel remember my favor which i bestowed upon you and I favored you above all al alameen. Alameen, it's all mankind. And between two brackets uh, for your time period in the past. In the past, huh? in the past. Yeah, because now it's time you're over. You're, I favor you is expired. But here you notice the stupidity of the author of the Quran. I mean, the idiot, he says there's no Israel. And then he called them the children of Israel. If we ask Zach and Nick, he will say, Brother Sitter, this is the land belongs to the Palestinian. And don't do it, they took it from him. Zach and Nick, idiot, certified donkey. Even your Quran says this is the land of the Jews. Even your Quran say this is the land of the Jews. Not only it says it's, it's, it's the land of the Jews, it is assigned to the Jews. It's not assigned to to the Arab like me. It's assigned specifically to the Jews. 
Suddenly the Muslim, they, you know, Muslims always they have their own reasoning. Brother, this is in the past, brother. Brother, in the past. Like, what? So, but but you just admitted that this is the land first. What past? So you jump in the house from my my house from the window. You change the lock and you say this is my house now. This is what they do. They come to your country. Muhammad, he came to the Jews as a refugee. The best refugee Muslim in the world, Muhammad. What he did, he came to the city as a refugee from Mecca. He killed all the Jews. He slaughtered all the men. He killed even their boys. And he raped the women. Once a Muslim, he said to me, that is a lie. I said, what's a lie? He said, the prophet don't kill the Jewish children, you are a liar. I said, are you sure? You know me when I say, are you sure? I mean, something is going to happen, right? Are you sure? Let me find the reference. Here we go. A Jewish guy from Bani Quraidha, this is now after he grew, he became a man. And this is the Islamic books. And now the guy, because he became a kid under their control, say so he is became a Muslim. They forced him to convert to Islam, he's a slave. I was among the captives of Bani Quraidha. They, the companion, examined us and those who had begun to grow here in the pubic area were killed. You know, Middle Eastern, we are hairy people. So you will have hair even if you are almost seven years old. So the filthy Muhammad was slaughtering every single boy between those Jews. If you have hair, they made them all naked. Do you see the mercy of Allah? And the Muhammadan, they say to you, we don't do that in Islam. And then the hadith says, in different hadith, hadith, for those who do not know, uh, is a report, speech. You know, Sometimes it says by Muhammad, sometimes it says by people in his time about him or about something happened. Based on this, I should have been killed since I was two days old. Do you know that guy, what's his name? The movie is called uh, The Dictator. They show you that uh, uh, Aladdin, he was born and he was one day old and he have a beard down his private part. This is what happened to some of us in the Middle East. Very hairy. For sure in the movie they are exaggerating. It. Like, come on, it's not that long. So, who is the one who owned the land? This is the land of the Jews. If I am a Jew, I'm going to ask right now for my land in Saudi Arabia. My land should not be in this little tiny, very small land. It's called Israel now. Israel is not this one. Israel is where the Jews, they live. All of us, we knew that the Jews, they used to be baptized by John the Baptist in the river of Jordan. From both sides. All of us, we knew about the trips of the disciples, about the Lord trips and his disciples, even the, all the way to Sidon in Lebanon. Lebanon today. And all of us, we knew that the Syrian, their language is Syriac. Syriac, not Arabic. They are Syrian. The Lebanese are not Arab. All of those, they came as an invasion. You go right now to Iraq, you will see nothing but Bedouin. What happened to the Assyrian? 
What happened to the Chaldean? What happened to the black people they brought them as slaves in the city of Basra? If you go right now and search on the internet, search for revolution of the Zinj, where the Arab they slaughter hundreds of thousands of a black people with no mercy. They brought them all the way from the middle of Africa. And when those black people became a big number, majority actually, they became even more than the Arab, the white Arab. They start asking for their rights. The Arab, they got the Turk, the Albanian, white European Muslims, and they slaughtered them. If we go and we check some more reference, here is an example, a story about people who they are living in the city of Muhammad, which is not his city. And imagine they are talking about the story of the Jews in a book. It's called the book of Nikah. The Muslim, they say it's mean marriage. The fact it's mean effing. Imagine you mention how they slaughter people taking their women in a book, it's called How to F. And here Muhammad, he killed the tribe. He slaughtered 